but offer come the World Cup in November. It's interesting when you have a look at how the bookies have things set. Spain, not really in the conversation of the favourites. That belongs to Brazil, mighty England and France. Spain then coming in at 8-1. to one. Argentina at 9-1. to one. Of course, we saw what Argentina did yesterday against Italy, Germany, then at 11, Belgium, Portugal and the Dutch at 12-1. to one. What strikes you when you look at those odds, Jules? Well, I, th I think it's quite similar to before the Euros, you know, I mean, England, yeah, I think when you finish, you know, when you reach the semi-final and the final of a World Cup and the Euros back-to-back, -back, you have to be among the favourite, of course, I think Brazil are always there, France are the World Cup uh, holders, so they have to be there, I think Spain, again, like before the Euros, were a bit under the radar, it's more surprising maybe for Argentina, considering the incredible run they've had in the Scaloni, the Copa America win, I guess this game against Italy as well yesterday. But, but Spain, surely, I mean, we saw again today the good things and certainly the likes of Gavi and the transition forward for the first goal, for example, but also what they still need to work on in the sense that when, when they had the ball and a lot of possession and, and Portugal were quite deep, then they still struggled a little bit to create enough compared to how much they had the ball. And then defensively, they switched off a little bit and there was a lot of players missing defensively as well, of course. And they conceded that goal. But they could have conceded before Rafael Leao could easily have had two goals tonight for Portugal as well. So, very interesting game, I think, with a lot of things to take up from the two, for the two managers, to mm. be fair, Fernando Santos and Luis Enrique. I think a lot of positive, but also a lot of things to work on for both of them. Frank, what were you shouting England? You feel England should be outright favourites for this tournament? <laughs> no, I, I really think that uh, uh, I want to give a chance to England, but really we have to be fair. We all know that the bookies come from England, so they, maybe they have some advantages that they want to give to their favorite almighty uh, team. But to not see Argentina being in ahead of England uh, really uh, amazes me because because with the result, and Jules mentioned that, they, that lately they, they got and uh, they deserve to be uh, at least second. Even if in front of France, I, I would have no, no wow. issues about that because Argentina uh, got two good, two good results lately, so they deserve to be in front of most, mostly everybody. How would you have it, Ali? England would be further down in the list. France would be higher. Argentina would be higher than both England and Spain and Brazil stays on top, they just continue to show so many options in the attack that at their very best, they can be scary talented in the final third. Argentina for me, I, I, I think going into this tournament, given what we've seen from them, Copa America and how they continue, um, as Jules was pointing out, how they are nine to one. Be you know, because what's going to happen, Shaka? What happens if Argentina win the World Cup? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to show up, Dan. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.